my name is Nicola Lathy. I'm a children's speech and language therapist and I'm author of Small Talk. And this is Charlotte and Charlotte is 29 weeks pregnant. And I'm here today to tell Charlotte about some ways in which she can communicate with her bump. So, the two main ways that you can communicate with your baby while it's in the, your bump are, the first one is, every time your baby does a little kick, you push the kick back, and hopefully then, the baby will kick your hand back. And that will form the very first two-way interaction between the mum and the baby. Have you ever tried that, Charlotte? No, I can't say I have ever tried it, but... Baby's not playing ball. No, it's always the way. <laughs> Shall I prod it? Yeah, <laughs> let's see if we can wake it okay. up. <laughs> Is there something there? <laughs> Do you know which way your baby is lying yes. at the moment? Anyhow, we, I'll move on to the second way. The second way in which you can communicate with your bump is by singing a really sweet little song. They say that between 24 and 27 weeks of a baby's life in utero, a baby can understand and respond to their mother's voice. So we encourage mums to sing this little song and it goes like this. So where you mainly feel the kicks you, you find the spot and you, you sing the, the little song, it goes like this. Rub, rub, rub my bump, rub, rub, rub my bump, rub, rub, rub my bump, rub, rub, rub my bump. And then you can change the, the word rub to pat or to tickle. And hopefully then, your baby will respond. Oh, I just had a kick. Oh, good. <laughs> so down, down here, that's down where here. we to do the singing. Down here. <laughs> so have a go, I'll, I'll, I'll say it with you. Rub, rub, rub my bump. 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 And then wait. Anything happening? The real the the I some, just had something. Just had something. Oh, like. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely thing about this is that when your baby is born, they'll recognise this sweet little tune, and then you can use it when your child is upset or distressed. So for instance, when I had my daughter, um, she didn't initially like having a bath. And so I used to sing, wash, wash, wash your tummy, wash, wash, wash your tummy, that really used to soothe her. And I was absolutely convinced that that was because she recognised the song from when she was in, in, in my bump. So we'll keep at it and uh, I encourage you at home to do the same. <laughs>